we offer remote technical support, and so people often log into us with email issues. They'll say, I can't open the attachment to an email, or I don't understand this email. And then when we ask them to show us the email, this is what they do. We see them scrolling up and down, trying to find the email they want us to investigate. In this video, I'm going to show you how to search for emails in various email clients. Right now we're in Gmail. Here's what happens. I can search either by somebody's name, I can search by subject, um, however I want. I go up here to the top where it says search mail. So let's say I wanted to find something from WPTV, which is a local TV station here on the east coast of Florida. So I simply type in WPTV and anything I've gotten from them shows up in the search. Now, it's much easier to find a particular email from WPTV if that's what I was looking for. I can cancel out of that, and instead of um, searching for a particular email, maybe I want to search for uh, emails that have a certain subject. I'm going to type in COVID-19, and let's see what we got. Now I get a list of emails that have that subject, a lot more emails now, but I've still narrowed it down from, in this case, I have 5,880 emails in the inbox. Another way to search is to search by just the domain of an email, so at foolcs.com, and that will bring up all emails from foolcs.com, which happens to be the Motley Fool. So you can see now all those emails have come up, and I can deal with them. I can find a particular email that I wanted by doing that. So the different ways I can search by an, a, an email address, I can search by a name, I can search by a subject, I can search by a domain. It really will help you when you're looking for an email that you've lost in the shuffle. That's how you do it in Gmail. Now let's take a look at something other than Gmail. Uh, let's take a look at Yahoo. Here we are in Yahoo. Same thing at the top. See, it says find messages, documents, photos, or people. Again, I could search by, let's search by Keystone Computer Concepts. And when I hit the Enter key, it's going to bring up all the emails that are from Keystone Computer Concepts. Same thing as we did in Gmail. I can also say, okay, let's, let's search by a subject. Let's search by coronavirus. And let's see what happens. And now you see I got all the emails that, com that mention the coronavirus. Again, I can do a domain. So let's do at 4kcc.com. And now it's brought up all the emails that came from 4kcc.com. And you can see they just keep loading. Again, we can search by domain. We can search by an exact email address. We can search by a company name or a person's name. Uh, we can search by subject. All right, so that takes care of Yahoo. Let's take a look at Outlook. Now this is Outlook.com. And here again, at the top, there's a search window. Not to be confused with the window at the very top, which is the address bar slash search bar. You want to use the one that says search. Again, the same way I can search by email address. I can search by subject. I can search by domain. I can search by a person or business name. That's how you do it at Outlook.com. And here we are in Comcast. Same thing in Comcast. Over on the left, though, is the search window. And I can click in there and again. I can search by a username. 
I can search by a person or business name. I can search by a subject. I can search by an email address. I can search by a domain. Very easy. No more scrolling up and down. Now, here we are in Office 365. If you have the Office 365 Outlook, at the top is the search window. I'm going to search American Greetings. And when I do that, you see I get all the emails from American Greetings. Just an easier way to get your emails. Let's say you're using the Windows 10 Mail app. Same thing. Right above the emails, you see the search bar where I can go ahead and search for a particular subject, someone's name, someone's email address, or an email domain. That's how easy it is to find emails instead of searching up and down and wasting your time. That's it for today's video. Please hit the subscribe button and then hit the little bell and click all.